Hello, Grapes Collectibles here, and uh, today we're going to do something a little different. Um, usually I would do like uh, my collection of video games, but today I figure I do my collection of uh, one of my favorite colleges for Division One. I, I guess, ever since I was a kid, it would be Michigan State. Um, I collect any sport that has Michigan State on it. Uh, if you, uh, people that know me, I mean, I'm a big, you know, Packers fan, and, you know, and then Tigers, Red Wings, and all them, but, um, I don't collect them because my parents do, so it's, like, kind of foolish if we both of us collect it, so eventually I, when I was a kid, I started collecting Michigan State cards, and, uh, and today I want to show it off a little bit here. Um, right here's my, uh, my little box here. Um, there is, this side has the hits, and I think these ones are just, like, rookies and base cards and all that stuff. These ones are, like, pretty old, so I'll just skim through these ones fast, but I'll show the hits a little bit here. And, um, I got some graded cards here, and I got a couple of booklet cards here that I'm going to show, too. So, without further ado... We'll go through these ones first. Now I do, um, I still do buy some here and there. So if you, um, if anybody wants to sell me Michigan State cards, I'm open to buying some if the price is right. A little glare around the sun. All right, not the sun, the light. There hasn't been any sun. It's been pretty rainy here the last few days, and it was snowing today. This is one of my goals. I'm hoping the get here is a Magic Johnson autograph. I don't have one. He was actually one of my favorite play. Uh, well, I never really got to see him play, but because I don't even remember he, as a kid even when he played. But I'm hoping to uh, get an autograph of this guy. I got a few like base cards and all that of him from back in the day. We got some more here that played for the Lions here, like Cedric Irving. I think that was quite a few of them in here. I mean, some of these people I don't even know, but that, I mean, that doesn't matter to me as they played for Michigan State when it's football, basketball. I, I think I have one baseball card if I see if I can find it. But it's mostly these two. Oh, oh this guy's just slippery there. Got Paul Davis there, remember him? See, so here's the. I don't know if you call it a baseball or what, but you got uh, Gibson and Garvey. I think this one was. Yeah, well, they both play baseball, I have football, but. I thought that was pretty cool. Some more. TJ Duckett. And these old press pass. I like them when they're in a, in a state uniform more, but I mean, either way, I collect them even if they're in their pro uniform. Good thing I don't have to individually look at these, you know. Or say the names of each of these single cards. Boy, this video would take forever. Oops. Hard to handle here. Tony Banks. Drew Stanton. A few of him. Zach Randolph. And I think he's still in the league. We got Morris Peterson. Quite a bit of cards in. Wow, oh, cards in rough shape. I gotta. Looks like I have to go through these again here, and uh, you know I probably should put hard sleeves in them, but I just haven't had the time. 
You know, this is actually my first time in quite a while looking at these base cards. Charles Rogers. <laughs> One of the top receivers in that class. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. Oh, here's one of my uh, favorites growing up was Jason Richardson. The, you know, I mean, he was a high, dra high decent draft pick, I think, if I recall. Yeah, fifth overall. But, I mean, he's got his real name for that slam dunk contest when he won it two times in a row, I think, if I recall. Or then this one is numbered uh, 3,999. I don't even think this was his rookie. Uh, nope. Still a pretty cool card. Gold medallion. A few of his rookie cards. I know they were pretty decently priced back in, but I'm pretty sure they're not anymore. You know, that's really what he's known for, I guess, is the slam dunk contests ever since he retired. More older cards here. Dominic, well, I guess he didn't play for him. But it's more or less uh, Kevin Willis, his former teammate. Eric Snow. Steve Smith. S uh, Scott Styles. And I have a ton of these old cards. Some more Charles Rogers. So that's all like the pretty much the base hits or the non hits here. I got this autograph here. Just um, a couple weeks ago, actually, at a card show, Brandon Dawson. It was originally $2, and the, the uh, dealer said, um, you know, he'll take it for a buck. So I was, I was really happy with that. I was going to be happy with the $2, but then it made me even better with the uh, dollar. And then I got an autograph here of rookie of Darrell Worthy. Let's see, you got some uh, jersey card here, Steve Smith. Jersey of uh, Drew Stanton. Morris Peterson. Another one. Uh, I got a couple, few uh, Morris Peterson jerseys here. Uh, Martin Cleave, Cleavers. I can't remember how to say his name. Jersey card. Tony Banks. We got Jason Richardson uh, autograph. One of those clear commemoratives. Nope, not numbered. Jersey of TJ Duckett. Got a jersey of Jason Richardson there. Another one. This one's a dual Gilbert Arenas and Richardson. Um, Javon Ringer jersey. Another one. Uh, let's see the name here. Herb Haygood jersey. Kirk Gibbs Gibson uh, bat. Game used bat. Another jersey of, uh, a couple of jerseys of uh, Jason Richardson. This one's numbered to 175. And uh, Drew Stanton, jersey football. And then I got a Charles Rogers jersey. I wonder how much this one's worth, this uh, jersey, even though it's numbered to 150. Man, that's uh, not worth the paper it's printed on, probably. Another uh, jersey card, TJ Duckett. Okay, we got a Zach Randolph autograph. Uh, Jeremy Lankford jersey, Connor Cook jersey. Got Le'Veon Bell patches, number to twenty-five, rookie. Connor Cook uh, rookie RPA. Got Jeremy Lankford blue autograph rookie. 
A lot of these are pretty much rookies, I think. Uh, BJ Cunningham. Denzel Valentine. Whoops. The Mar Martin again. Look at this old school autograph. Uh, Mark uh, Birchmeter, I want to say. I don't even remember him at all. Another Gerald Worthy autograph, rookie. Uh, TJ Duckett autograph. Andre Houston autograph. This now this way too. I don't really take duplicates of hits. So at least now people, you know, you'll know that you know what I have. Then if you really want to sell me something, that's Michigan State. Cedric uh, Irvin. A couple of them. Another Lankford uh, autograph jersey. Uh, Jeremy Lankford helmet. Uh, Denard. Rookie auto. Another uh, Connor Cook. Rookie relic. Uh, we got Aaron Burbridge. Autograph. Drew Stanton, Brian Hoyer, Keyshawn Martin, another BJ Cunningham, Sounds like a foil type auto, Blair White, oh, and this one's I guess is a regular rookie. <laughs> I don't know why this is in here. I mean, this is my uh, second favorite uh, college team. There's Auburn. I don't know why it's in my Michigan State box, but and I really don't collect the Auburn Tigers, but I just like to watch them play. Okay, so the rest I got here, got two booklets, I'll show them right now. Got the Connor Cook, just a... Uh, I think this one is patches and this one is jersey. It's from National Treasures, I yeah, National Treasures. And it's numbered to 49. And another one, one of my favorites. Another Connor Cook, but it's a uh, booklet autograph patches. That's number 249 also. From playbook. And here are my graded cards. I used to have a few more, but I sold uh, sold some of them off. But uh, here's my collection. I don't, probably ain't gonna sell ever again. Got a Jeremy Langford nine point five with ten. Numbered uh, from Topps Diamond, numbered the five. You can see that. Yeah, he ain't much of a player anymore, but I was pretty happy to pick this up for really cheap. Uh, got Kirk Cousins rookie autograph. It's the green emerald. This is a 9.5 with a 10 auto. Yeah, yeah, I said emerald, yep. And this one is numbered to 25. One of my favorites. I wonder, uh, I wonder how much this card is worth now. And got another Kirk Cousins. This one's just a numbered one. This is graded 9.5. And it's numbered to 75. Now I know Kirk Kirk Cousins um, cards are like pretty up there. So I don't usually, I won't like buy them now if they're that high. So if people are thinking about it, don't uh, get any ideas to ask me. And we got another uh, Jeremy Langford. 9.5, 10. Auto, number to 99. I got a Le'Veon Bell. Was this, I got this one graded and this one, I was disappointed that it was a 9. From uh, Prestige. Now I do have um, actually two that I want to get graded. I'm hoping at least one of them will be a 9.5. Once I ever, if I ever get to submit these, 
It's another prestige one autograph, and then this one from Absolute Autograph Relic, number to 299 because if one of them or both are 9.5 I'm probably gonna sell that one off actually but like I said I gotta actually send it in I don't think I've sent it in, in for almost two years two years now I think since I've done a submission got another Le'Veon Bell this one's like an insert rookie die cut right here 9.5 I don't know how it became a 9.5 with all those uh, tough edges. The gray gave me a 9, but good thing everything else was 9.5. Uh, Keyshawn Martin, uh, black extra points, 9.5. This one is numbered to 10. And my last card I got here is another Kirk Cousins. Rookie autograph from Upper Deck, 9.5 with 10 auto. So not a bad, not a bad collection. Um, it's a growing pro uh, process here, you know, and it's going. But uh, like I said, usually the base cards, you know, a lot of these base cards are uh, old, so. Uh, you could see that I haven't been collecting the base ones really much. It's more the the hits, so or even the graded cards, you know, even booklets. But like I said, I'm, it's got to be for the right price. I'm not gonna go overboard on it like a like a contender's autograph that's been selling, you know, graded ones for a couple hundred. I'm not gonna spend that much. I don't I don't have the funds for that. But if you got something like even like Connor Cook or Jeremy Langford, those guys, you know, I will, I will gladly buy them for, for a pretty good cheap price, you know. <clears throat> so that will uh, do it for this uh, video. Uh, like, comment, or subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any uh, future videos. And I will be back with another video soon.